Hey, how is it going, YouTube? Here I am back with the second part on how to install a, a Windows Steam game on Linux using Wine. And if you didn't check the first video, the first part, please go and check that video so that you understand what I'm doing now because I'm creating some shortcuts and some stuff that's better if you understand what I'm doing actually. Okay, so let me open Pinta here. Last time I installed two games, okay, Titan Souls and uh, another one, which I don't remember. Yeah, well, it's, uh, it was like VHS, Replay VHS, something like that. Then I installed Apartment 666, which is a 64-bit game, but I installed on a 32-bit wine, wine prefix, so the game doesn't launch and it just keeps a, a, a wrong platform error. Okay, this is no big deal. Actually, it's very easy to fix this error, but I'm going to talk about this on the next video. Okay, on this video, I'm going to install two games. One is called Cuba Missile Crisis, and the other is called Hexus. And I'm going to use the App Launch App ID. So again, if you didn't check the previous video, go and check it, even just the last part, to understand what this variable do does. Okay, as I, as I told on the previous video, I'm going to create some shortcuts right now. And as I did with the wine prefixes uh, that I uh, put and, and I'm going to create uh, all these new wine prefixes in a folder called wine prefix, dot wine prefix. The same I'm going to do with the shortcuts. I'm not going to just create every shortcuts in my home folder, but I'm going to put everything in a, in a folder called dot shortcuts. Okay, so it's already there. And as you can see, there are already some stuff here, some shortcuts uh, in this folder. Okay, as you can see, I have a white file in here, while all the others are green files. If you don't know what does it means, I can show you. Okay, by ls in a more verbose way, let's say. As you can see, Gallium had, okay, it has uh, read and write privileges, let's say. While all the other one, it, it, it also has an x, that means that this file can be executed. So, all the green files can be executed while like this one can't be executed. Okay, this is super easy. You can er do this from the terminal in a super easy way. I'm going to show you later. All right, so let's start with Cuban Missile Crisis. Okay, so to create the wine prefix, I'm going to set the architecture equal 32. Then I'm going to create a new wine prefix, dot wine prefix, Cuban missile crisis. Then I'm going to tell wine to run steam. So home dot wine prefix, steam, drive C, capital S, steam, capital S, steam dot exe. Okay, and then the app launch variable with the app ID, which is, there it is, 35.6270. Now, on the, the app ID, oh, there is always a zero at the end, okay? So it can be something like that, but there is always a zero. The last number is always at zero, so, okay, you know that. Actually, I can create the wine prefix 32 bit and launch straight to the installer. But as I said, I'm going to create a shortcut. So to do to do so, I'm going to echo this entire command on a file called dot shortcuts Cuban missile crisis. Okay, there it is. Now I'm going to go and edit it. Nano dot shortcuts Cuban missile crisis. All right, here we are. Here we have our wine arch, wine architecture, 
wine prefix wine the steam exit and the app launch okay so let me separate everything like that okay now if you want to create a shortcut and you want to separate stuff like that i need to put export here you need to export this wine arch if you don't uh, insert export here it's not gonna create it's not those two variables are not going to be used maybe if you put this symbol in here you don't need export but i'm not sure so i'll just do this way all right then wine arch wine prefix wine steam and the app launch variable okay actually to make things more uh, pretty and well organized i'm going to set some other variables in here one is wine and the other is steam this is you can also have everything in one uh, one line and this is no big deal this i'm just doing to have stuff more uh, organized as he said okay then i'm going to talk about different wine on a uh, on the same uh system later on how to configure different wine version and use different wine version on the same computer on the same system but right now i'm going just to use the default wine which i can go and locate if you don't know where it is you can run this uh, command so you can find in your root folder so the entire computer a uh, file or folder or binary whatever it is named wine actually i'm not gonna search for wine i'm going to search for wine config okay because wine config is is on the same folder so when i find a wine config i also find wine and then i'm going to put every error that i get on dev slash null okay there it is i can press ctrl c in here so i know that my wine config is on user root user uh, slash bean slash wine config okay wine it's on the same folder so right now i can i can tell and set this variable user bean wine okay and for steam there it is so this is the wine path to the wine binary to the default wine binary and this is the path to to steam okay right now i can call these two uh, variables by pre by typing the dollar sign and then wine and by typing the dollar sign and then steam okay you will see later that this will make things easier it's more organized also easier to create some new shortcuts okay there it is i'll tell you again export the wine arch export the wine prefix and then set the two uh, variables for wine and for steam and recall these two variables so that it gets execute wine arch wine prefix then wine then steam then the up launch with the the correct uh, game app id <clears throat> okay right now i can close Control x say yes to save the file where it is it's cool now i can ls shortcut again and as you can see here cuba missile crisis by default it's a normal file so it has no executable privileges let's say it can't be executed to make it execute it's super easy just type uh, chmod plus hex okay that it adds the, the executable privileges and then shortcuts cuba missile crisis there it is if i ls again right now cuba missile crisis as you can see can be executed x x and x in here okay ctrl l to clear the terminal I can close this guy right here and right now I can launch the shortcuts cube 
press tab, auto compile, and press enter. As you can see, the wine configuration in home, my username, dot wine prefix, Cuba Missile Crisis, is being updated. So it's being actually created. I can log in as usual. This window always creates problems, at least to me. Tab, password. Tab, press the space bar to remember your password, to check remember my password. Okay, there it is. As, as always, as I told you before in the previous video, you already know that, I guess. Steam by default will try to install everything on its folder, on its, uh, sorry, on its wine prefix, which is dot wine prefix slash steam. Okay. But you have to select the, the, your C drive, create a new steam library folder, select next and finish. All right. That's it. As you can, as I told you before, you can go up here and check the progress, double click to open the client, download, and there it is. Okay. You can close it right now. The game is installing and I want to create the shortcut for the other game, which is called Hexus. Okay. So let me open a new terminal right now. And what I'm going to do, I'm not going to echo as I did before. Yeah, it's on the other terminal. But I'm going to copy the shortcuts that uh, I just created. So CP means copy. It co just copy a file or a folder, whatever. Dot shortcut, Cuba Mr. Crisis, dot shortcuts, Hexus. Okay, I just copied the file. Now if I go ls-o shortcuts as you can see exus it has already uh, the can be already executed because i just copy an exec executable file so al also the game the uh, the new newly created file is going to be executable all right what do you have to do now just press nano so a text editor shortcuts exus there it is. As you can see, it has the uh, old path in here, dot one prefix slash Cuba Mr. Crisis. I'm going to change it because I want to create the Hexus wine prefix. Wine 32-bit uh, it's fine. And here I'm going to change the app ID. To do that, let me press. Okay, here it is. This is the game. You can check the URL in here. So it's 32, 3250. There it is. Okay. Now, as soon as, yeah, actually, Cuba Missile Crisis, it's not so, it's quite heavy, 1.3 gigs. So I'm going to close this one. Okay going to crash in here or whatever steam it always creates some problems I'm going to be sure that steam in here it's properly closed Control L to clear the terminal and I'm going to launch Hexus shortcuts the shortcut for Hexus there it is as you can see when prefix being updated so created please wait I'll need to access my profile. Please do not hack my account. There it is. Again, be sure to, to select and to create a new Steam library on your C drive. If not, you're going to install the game on a different wine prefix. Select, next. This will be faster, hopefully. I'm probably also able to, to play it on this video. OK. 
Come on. Faster, faster. Okay, 50 seconds. As I say before, I still need to fix a lot of stuff with Steam on Arch Linux. It's creating oh, many problems when downloading something. <clears throat> Okay, I'm going to close this one and just wait some seconds. By the way, Steam, as it happens with the origin, the, the Linux client, just going to tell you in here with a small windows that Steam has finished downloading Exus. I launch it. Hopefully, it won't mess my resolution. Oh, it just did. Yeah, fuck that. Let's see if I can get... Please enter your name. Manero666. I'm a male, I think. Enter, options, edit face. Actually, let me do this. Okay, here we are. Let me see if I can... Full screen. Yeah, you know what? I'll quit the game. Yeah, as you can see, as I told you in the previous video, the Steam icon here it's disappears, but it's still there. So I want to close and I want to actually uh, enable a virtual desktop dot when prefix exus okay I'm going to create uh, enable virtual desktop just my native resolution there it is actually doing the same for Cuba missile crisis Cuba missile crisis which is a, a little bit old game so it, I'm pretty sure will mess my resolution yeah 1080 Oops, 1220, 1380. Okay, that's it. Now, the game is installed, as you know, so I'm going to launch it by shortcuts. Hexus, it's going to la launch a virtual desktop. The game is already installed, so it's going to be launched out of the box. Actually, right now it's 1080p, which is fine. Okay, and then I can play my game. Maybe skip this one. Close, close. Let me play, please. Play. Nice. Click here to skip tutorial. All right. Actually, I don't remember this game, what they had to do. Okay, cool. That is quite a easy game, nothing crazy. All right, that's it. As you can see, the game's running out of the box. It's always also running 1080p, which is super fine. And right now I can X16 using my virtual desktop here. Okay, there it is. As you can see, I launched the game by running the shortcuts. So the first time it creates the wine prefix and it installed the game. 
and then it just uh, launched the correct game as for the app ID. So at first it installs and then it acts as a launcher. So this is quite cool if you want to add, for example, the something to your uh, uh, shortcuts. For example, if there is an option like, I don't know, uh, resolution, like uh, if the game supports this kind of stuff, you can add this in the shortcuts or just in the, the, in the, the command line. Or you can also add something before, such as the gallium hut to show, for example, the FPS. Okay, let's make FPS and CPU and GPU load. Actually, let me do like that. All right, that's it. As you can see, it's super easy to add something like uh, Gallium Hunt, which, which can be like also a complicated uh, command if you want something more uh, specific. But by using those kind of shortcuts, it's just super easy. You know, because the the shortcuts already there, it runs out of the box. It will maybe be a little bit difficult if there is, you know, maybe a more complicated gallium hat, and then you will need to wine prefix to ask, to add all the wine prefix and then steam and then this and that. So this is super clean, super well organized. You can just copy shortcuts something else which actually I'll do later it will be the same as will to reproduce also this error I'm going to install uh, uh, planet side planet side 2 which is already there I guess let me see no actually not All right, so I'm going to copy it, shortcuts, Lexus, shortcuts, planet Alcatraz, no. And then nano, let me clean, planet side two. Planet side two, free to play. And I can see in here the app ID, so planet and then the app ID, which is 21, 82, 30. All right, I'm not gonna launch it, but I just created it. I can cat to check if everything's correct. App ID, so export wine prefix planet site too. This is wrong, so it's going to create the same problem as uh, apartment 666 because this is a 64 bit uh, game, as you can see in here, OS 64 bit. But then I'll create a 32 bit, and so I'm going to show you how to fix also be the same as apartment 666. All right, that's it. Hope you was. Uh, easy and uh, hope that you can understand how steam works to create different wine prefixes for different games and uh, yeah that for every prefixes you actually have to go through the steam wine prefix and to run steam from here and be sure to select where to install the game but that by default steam will try to install in here in its folder in its uh, sorry in its wine prefix okay on the next video i'm going to talk about wine tricks how to fix game that are not working and on the next video again i will tell you how to copy um a wine prefix 
how to modify 32-bit to 64-bit if you did the same mistake as I did with apartment and the one that I will do with planet side too. And that's it. I hope that the shortcuts stuff was very helpful. By the way, this is just the let's say the most easy things in here, you know. You can add everything that you want in here. Some people add the shebang in here, like bash or sh whatever. I don't need it, so I this is just the the structure, the main structure how how it works. Okay. Then in here you can add whatever you want to make your uh, your shortcuts uh, more uh, the everything that you like. Let's say. All right. I hope it was helpful, and I'll see you in next video. Bye bye.